If you're looking to start streaming on Facebook gaming, then this is the video for you. What's going on everybody? I'm your boy Voids and welcome back to a brand new video. This video will be going over everything you need to know to get started as well as a couple key tips that'll be thrown in along the way. Before we start, if you are new here, consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video. I know, I know they always tell you to do it, but I'm trying to help you out here, so help. Uh, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can catch me live on Facebook gaming at fb.gg slash voidzu Tuesday through Saturday at about 7 p.m. Pacific Standard and ask me questions then live. I'm happy to answer. For you. So let's get right into the video. Step number one is to create a Facebook gaming page. I'll be doing it with you guys so you can follow along if you'd like, and let's just get started. So to start your stream on Facebook gaming, you're going to already have to have a Facebook account or create a new one. If you already have one, just use that one. It's going to be your best bet, especially if you want to share the stream with your already current friends. But if you don't have one or you're looking to start a second account just for streaming, you can totally do that too. I would advise just to keep your normal account unless you're really trying to stay away from the page because this way you can actually share it and invite people to like it who are already friends with you. And if you have friends that want to like it, it's super easy just to send them a quick invite and they can like your page right away. Now I know before you ask, people cannot see your real name attached to your Facebook page. The only people who can are people you allow. So for example, admins or moderators can see who's posting to the page. However, 99% of people will not see your personal profile. If you want to go the extra step like I did, make your entire current Facebook profile completely private, that works too. Don't allow friend requests, that's another way around it. But if you're worried about an aunt or a grandma finding the stream, they won't know it's actually linked to your account, so that won't happen. But know that if you ever become big time 10,000 viewers, she might end up stumbling across it. So what we're looking at now is my personal Facebook page. You can see Voidzu, at Voidzu, my about, my videos, the games I play, yada, yada, yada. But let's create a new page so you can follow along with me. So what we're gonna do, is hit this little check up here, create. We're gonna go to page. And from here, we get to add some new information. So this dashboard's a little bit different from the past. Um, so here we can call it Oogaloo. And the category is the most important part, okay? Gaming video creator, it must be that, nothing else. That must be the category to be able to have a Facebook gaming page. Once that's done, your description, this is gonna be your about, blah, 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 create page. That is not available, so I'll just create a random one. Okay, so we went with Voidzu Gaming, gaming video creator, very important, and then just said streamer in the description. So now it's creating our page. And there you go. So now, what we're going to do in the left side here is we can add a profile picture or we can add a cover photo. So what these would be is, you know, your profile picture here, your cover photo here. For now, we're going to skip that. I do advise doing it. And then from here, you can see all basically your page is already created. So you can enter your location, definitely fill out this information, your email and anything like that that you want that information displayed. Create your at username. You can click that and pick a username like Voidzoo Gaming, for example. And then you can add a button here so we can have it set to be follow. So the big button that shows here is follow. But what we want to do is getting started streaming. So let's go over to the creator studio tab over here on the left. And then what we're going to do is go down to creative tools and it'll pop up your live dashboard. Now from here, you'll see a lot of information. I know it's overwhelming, but we can go over this real quick. Ignore the level up program for right now. You won't be able to hit it until you hit hundred page followers and some more criteria. Alerts, this is where your alerts will be. However, you can use Streamlabs or OBS Live or something like that to make it work. But you can also just look at this. Add your title here, right here for the game, as well as the game. So if you wanted to play Fortnite, back Fortnite. Set up live stream is what we're gonna use now. So what we're gonna do is hit set up live stream. And this will bring you to the new dashboard, which I will be making a video going over but basically this is where you set up your live stream. Ignore everything here for a second and look just on the left. Go live now, go live with others, schedule a live stream or, or um, the last option disappeared on me. Upcoming live events, just worry about go live now. You can post on the timeline 
But what we're gonna do is this would post it to my normal Facebook page, my account, personal account. We wanna post to a page you manage. And we wanna change this to Voids You Gaming if you have multiple pages. If you don't only have one page, then it would go to that one. So here you can create your title, your description, your game, which is what we put Fortnite here before, and a thumbnail, which I can go over a thumbnail tutorial as well, which I'll probably do in a different video. Once that's all done, what you'll need to do is copy your stream key here. Make sure you use persistent stream key is on. This way you won't have to copy it more than once. So you're gonna copy it. Now that we have your Facebook page done and you fill out all the information and customize it to your liking, I'm gonna show you guys how to enter it into your recording software to be able to send the stream to Facebook. So today we're gonna to be using OBS Studio, which is the best software on the market for streaming. It is also completely free. But do note there are other options such as Streamlabs OBS, which is slightly more beginner friendly, and you do hear a lot of people reviewing it. However, you do lose some functionality by going with it. And for now, we'll be just focusing on OBS Studio regular. This will work the same way or similarly in OBS Live or Streamlabs OBS. So now you can see the recording way down the line, but ignore that. So we're gonna go to settings. Now we're gonna go to stream, right? This little dashboard part here, you can click Facebook Live from all these. You wanna hit Facebook Live and then paste that key that we copied before right in here in the stream key section. It is very important to note that this should not be shown to anybody. This You should not see anyone. No one should see yours. The only reason you've seen my key is because of this, ex this experiment. However, I will be, you know, getting rid of that key um, and deleting that page afterwards. So don't try to steal my account. Perfect. And from here, you want to go to the output tab. Um, recommended just starting out, follow these settings exactly how they are. Um, it's going to be your best bet. Rate control will be CBR, bitrate 4,500 kilobits per second. That does depend on your internet speed, not your download, but your upload. If you check your internet speed and you have about a six megabytes per second upload or above, 4,500 should be just fine. If it's any lower, just kind of use the rule of thumb of getting about 2,000 kilobits, or should I say two megabytes difference. So if you have four megabytes upload, you should only stream at about 2,000 kilobits per second or two megabytes. 1,000 kilobytes to a megabyte, if that makes any second or any sense. Keyframe interval, two, don't ask me why. Everyone recommends it. Every stream platform it recommends it. I don't understand why it works well, but it does. I run my preset at max quality and my profile at high. Don't know if these make much of a difference, but everything else, stock. Audio, you wanna have your desktop audio set to your headset and your mic audio set to your microphone, which I'm using a Yeti X. Then video, you want your canvas resolution to be the same as your monitor. Whatever your monitor resolution is your base canvas. And then your output scaled resolution, set it to 1280 by 720. And the reason is because for now, when you're starting out, you can't stream higher than 1080p because Facebook caps it. I use 60 FPS because I like the smoothness. And then the downscale fil filter I use is Lansos. Lanskos, I would pronounce it. And you're done. Now you can hit the big go live button or start streaming in the corner and it'll go straight to your Facebook account. Just make sure you have that dashboard that I showed you before open because it will ask you to click go live there as well. So when you hit start streaming in OBS, then you go to that dashboard we had open where you put your title and your description and everything that you were putting, the thumbnail for example, you hit go live there and then boom, you're live on Facebook. Couple tips. Make sure to tag the game you're playing. If you don't tag it, it won't put you into the actual algorithm for Facebook gaming. Tip two, try to come up with some creative titles and descriptions. The top two lines or one line of the description are the most important parts of the description. So don't put any links there, put something creative and something fun that you would wanna click on. And step three, Facebook has a really quick turnaround for viewers. A lot of people will stop in for 30 seconds and leave. So you wanna make sure you're being as interactive and as active as possible and trying to talk your way through any sort of situation you're in. I will be making a video soon on the best streaming tips I can give and do's and don'ts of the industry. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and come follow me at fb.gg slash voidzoo for my live streams. I'm always answering any questions you guys have live. Happy streaming. Peace.